Hi everyone, uh, we are going to start uh, the 2021 English medium class. Today we are going to start the Python programming lesson, programming using Python. This lesson is uh, uh, mainly concerned about the programming concepts. As IT professionals, you must have a sound understanding about the programming concepts. So uh, this lesson uh, mainly focus on Python. Uh, for teaching you the programming concepts. Programming concepts means uh, what are the commands in uh, used in a programming language, then if conditions, while loops, for loops, variables, functions, classes, objects, file handling, all these things are the basic concepts in any programming language. If you learn C, C++, Java, any, any kind of a programming language, you must have the programming fundamentals. So this lesson is designed to teach you the programming fundamentals uh, and also they have selected the Python as the programming language for teaching the programming concepts. It's a very good suitable programming language for A-level students because uh, you can easily understand the concepts because Python is an easy to learn simple programming language just like the pseudocodes if you know the simple English and the mathematical notations. You can easily learn the Python and also it's platform independent means uh, the Python can be executed in any kind of a uh, operating system platform in Windows, in even in your Android mobile phone, Mac OS, Linux, and any any kind of an operating system platform you can execute the Python. And also, it's an interpreted language. You don't need to have a compiler. If you have the Python installed in your computer, you can execute the source code directly in your computer. I will teach you everything related to the programming. So. Uh, keep in touch with us uh, then you can study the programming from the beginning you don't need to have any previous knowledge in programming whether you have done O level ICT uh, or not whether you have any uh, experience in writing programs using any programming language uh, for whatever they have recommended the Pascal some of the students have uh, the idea about the visual basic Java C sharp likewise uh, some of you have the experience of programming whether you have the experience of programming or not it's not a problem for learning the Python and also keep in mind you have to start from the beginning and also you have to start each and every concept related to the programming in the A level class then only you can be a good programmer one day this is the the first step for being a programmer and also a software engineer in future uh, we are going to start the Python lesson the first of all you must have an understanding about the computer just consider the computer. The computer can only understand one language. It's called the machine language. Machine language. The machine language is made using ones and zeros. It's binary. Everything you represent in computer, the data, instructions, everything, memory addresses, all of them are represented using the binary language, the binary number system machine language so uh, what is a program so what is a program program is a sequence of instructions set of instructions a sequence of instructions given to a computer to carry out a particular task so you have to give the set of instructions to the computer to carry out a particular task if you have any task to be uh, completed using a computer first of all you have to give the instructions computer is not an intelligent device it cannot think and decide it is not like a human being so you have to provide the instructions step by step to carry out a particular task so the program contains set of instructions or sequence of instructions uh, given to a computer to carry out a particular task to achieve a particular goal so uh, as I told you, since the computer knows only the binary number system and also the machine language, the CPU can understand only the machine language, so you have to give all of the instructions in binary. Otherwise, it won't be executed. So at the beginning, the programmers wrote the programs using the binary in this manner. All the instructions were executed in binary. Also, all the instructions are given in binary. but uh, what do you think? Is it easy to write the programs in binary in machine language? No. It's a very tedious task and also it's difficult and error prone. If there's an error, it's very difficult to debug and also locate the error. It's very 
uh, very complex. So writing programs using the machine language is a tedious and an error prone, time consuming task. So uh, the programmers, the computer scientists, they have created some programming languages to write the programs, to write, give the instructions to the computer. Programming languages means uh, mainly uh, in, in all over the world, we use English as the international language. So most of the programming languages are based on the English words and also the mathematical notations. So, so we can write the programs using English words, mathematical languages in high level programming languages. So uh, whether it's C, whether it's C sharp, whether it's Java, whether it's Python, any kind of a programming language, you can write the programs, but keep in mind that the programs written in those languages cannot be executed directly in the computer. Because of why? The computer can only understand the machine language. So the programs written in Python cannot be executed in the computer. So it should be translated into a language which can be understood or executed in the computer's uh, uh, CPU. So uh, the programs you are writing in any kind of a programming language should be converted into machine language. This is the main concept related to the programming. So we are going to start the Python, whether it's Python or any other language, you have to translate it into machine language. Let's consider, first of all, the program written in a programming language like C. It's a program written in a programming language. It's called the source code. The source code uh, written in C, maybe C++, or maybe in Python, it's a, it cannot be directly executed in the computer because the computer can understand only the binary number system and also the machine language. So you have to translate it into a form which can be understood by the computer. The simple process, the translation process, it's in binary, it's called the object code. This can be executed in the computer. Actually, there's another process called linking. Then you get the application. We'll discuss them later at the beginning as the new students for the programming just have an idea. This is the source code, this is the object code. This one is translated by a program translator. There are lots of program translators. Mainly, the source code is converted into object code using the compiler. This process is called the compilation. So I can write compilation. Not only the compiler, there are the program translators, the interpreters, assemblers. We have to study each and every program translator. Any kind of a program translator, the same job is done. The source code is translated into an object code. That's the process under the program translation. 